Hi, I'm Bill Lynn. I'm the Vice President of Heritage Arsenal here in Colorado Springs. And in this community, in our midst, is an American hero living amongst us. His name is Donald G. Stratton, and he is one of the last three survivors of the crew of the Arizona from December 7, 1941, who endured the Japanese attack. Donald Stratton was aboard uh, that morning, and he was stationed on Aircraft Directorate 2, which is just ahead of the bridge in this famous photo of the Arizona listing and sinking and on fire. Donald Stratton was one of the last five sailors to get off the ship before she was lost, and he was burned over 65% of his body and earned the Purple Heart that day. After a year in hospitals on the West Coast, he returned to his native Nebraska only to re-enlist and uh, again uh, served duty in the Pacific during four campaigns and six amphibious landings. An amazing story and it is detailed in this New York Times best-selling book, All Gallant Men. I suggest that you get a copy of this. It details some of uh, Donald Stratton's life but more particularly about his Second World War experience. I was uh, honored to be part of a committee here in town who created a six-figure exhibit that was dedicated by Senator Cory Gardner out at the Colorado Springs Airport. Part of that exhibit is a actual salvage piece of the battleship Arizona that the United States Navy sent from Pearl Harbor. Shards of that piece are here in this vial, so we actually have uh, an actual piece of the Arizona on exhibit here in our facility and are privileged and proud uh, of that fact. So as we think of the, the attack on Pearl Harbor, as we reflect upon what took place, you know, 78 years ago, um, we think of our neighbor, uh, Don Stratton and all the uh, brave Americans we lost there and the resolve and commitment that we had to uh, end that war favorably for uh, freedom and the allies. And so uh, that's what we're thinking about here this week. Uh, the first week of December uh, here in Colorado Springs.